Hey there, this is John Alexo from Crossway Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to explain two ways for you to redirect your web pages to whatever location that you want. The first way that, that I'm going to explain is the easiest one if you are starting out and you don't want to edit any file that belongs to your website, then you have this way. However, I'm going to ex install a plugin, and the reason that you may not want to use the first uh, option is because the more plugins that you typically install into a website it starts slowing down and so on so then I have the second way which is a bit harder but it's really not that complicated where I'm going to explain how you can edit a file that is called .ht access and we are going to put some just some coding lines so you can redirect whatever page that you have in your website now what are the reasons why you would actually want to redirect pages in your website? For example, when, to, when you remove a web page from your website, most people typically think that it just disappears from the internet, but it's not the case because it's still indexed by the search engines. That means that until the search engines totally removes that web page from being indexed, your visitors are still able to find that web page in the search engine then they go to that web page and they don't find any kind of content so by using a redirection you can redirect all of those visitors to the web page that you want them to see and where they can find the content also it doesn't also just redirect your visitors it also redirects the search engine crawlers from going from that web page that has been removed to the web page where they can find the content so you're basically telling the crawlers to index that last page into the search engine so those are a few reasons also you can use a redirection when you have for example let's say that you purchase several domain names like uh, .info uh, .org and you purchase them because you don't want other people building websites uh, that are that have a similar domain name has your main website so what you can do is you purchase all of those domain names then you redirect them to your main website so there are many different reasons why you want to use redirections and in this video I'm going to explain how you can do this so let's get started so let's say for example that I remove this web page from my website and once someone goes to this URL they are redirected to this new web page where they can find all of the content. So I'm going to install a plugin for me to be able to do the redirection. For me to do that, I go to my WordPress dashboard and I go to the plugin section and I'm going to add new. Now I'm going to search for redirect. Actually, I already have over here. I'm going to search for redirect, press enter, and the plugin that I want to install is this one. It's a really good plugin for redirections, and also you can do other things using the same plugin. You can click on more details if you want to get some extra information before you decide to install this plugin into your WordPress website. And I'm just going to install now, and in the next page, I just need to activate this plugin so I can start using it. Once you have this plugin activated in your website, you want to go to settings. Okay, you have several options over here. You may want to check them with more detail. Anyway, for you to do uh, quickly a uh, redirection in your website, you need to go to this section that is called redirects. And now you need to put in had new redirection, you need to put the source URL so this is the page where you want once someone goes to this page they are redirected to another location so this page will be this one so you want to grab the URL from this web page copy it just copy it and just paste it in this blank spacing then you have several options uh, match URL only in this case you want this first option action redirect to URL once again you have other uh, alternatives for this but you want to choose the first option for this 
then you want to grab the target URL this is the location where people will head once they they go to this web page in this case it will be this web page over here where they can find all of the necessary information so I'm just going to copy this URL right from here and just paste it in this line and just have redirection and you can see that now I have a 301 redirection happening so once I refresh this web page actually I click the wrong button once I refresh this web page I am taken immediately to the web page where I have all of the content so this is one of the easiest ways for you to do this now let's go to the second option so for the second option you need to go to your web host cPanel and once you are inside of your web host cPanel you want to find this option which is called file manager and you want to click on it then you want to choose the right website from this listing and just press go now now you will be able to see uh, a lot of files that belong to your website but the one that you want to edit is called .htaccess so if you don't have this file in the first place then just create one called .htaccess and also a good idea is to make a backup of this file before you decide to edit because I mean if you do something wrong and set up this file once you refresh your website you probably just will see a blank page and it's always a good idea for you to do a backup because of that reason so you just double click on it and you can see that it does a backup into my computer in case if I need it later on anyway I'm just going to select it and press edit and click edit once more and then I'm taken into inside of this file and you can see a few lines but you want to go right below of all of this cutting lines and you want to write the following line which is redirect 301 so this is exactly what you want to write redirect 301 once you have that the first thing that you want to include is your old URL okay your old URL is this one and then the next thing that you want to include is your new URL which is where you want to redirect people to okay so those are the two things that you need to include so you can make the redirection so I'm going to first grab my old URL so I'm going to the page which I want to remove inside of my website and in this case you don't want the full URL you just want this extension over here so you just want to copy this extension so you just copy it you go back to your file and where you see all the URL I'm going to include just this extension now where you see new URL I'm going to the page where I want to redirect people and I'm going to copy the full URL from this web page just copy it go to back to your file and just paste this so this new URL the full URL from the page where you want people to be redirected and basically that's all that you need to do so redirect 301 you put your old URL then you put your new URL where you want people to be redirected to so basically that's all that you need to do it's really simple anyway now you just press save once that is done I'm going to refresh this web page and you will see that I'm immediately redirected to where I want people to go so that's how you can use the .htaccess file for this purpose and basically that's all about redirections and what you need to do, need to know about them so that is all for this video please subscribe and also like so you can receive my weekly free video updates where I talk about search engine optimization WordPress and a lot more so stay there stay tuned with pro tutorials and bye